Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I'm going to be playing with some cardstock that has frames in it to make embellishments out of. I have two kinds. I have black with white frames I'll be using for Halloween. Then I have white frames on wood that I'll be using for angels and fairies. I also have cardstock that looks like either marble stone okay, or crystal stone. Then I have doilies, okay? So I have an idea to use up my little tiny pictures. So I'm going to share it with you, beautiful beings. So let's get started. Okay, beautiful beings, we're going to start with this print. Okay, I have angels. And I cut them in different shapes, okay? Okay, I'm going to zoom in. A little blurry. These are the ones I cut in little shapes. The other ones I left square and I did go around all of them just because there's gold in all the frames with a metallic marker. Okay, from Dollar Tree. Okay, so all I'm going to do is glue them. This one's really simple. I'm not adding anything behind them or anything and I'm just going to glue them in there. And if you're new to my channel, I'm just using Elena's glue. And I know, I know that's not perfectly round, but I did not have a die cut or a punch to punch at correctly for that size. So I'm just going to put it in like that. It does not have to be perfect. And I'm going to put this one down here. It's in the middle here, and I did go around that flower up there, but I think I can move that down just a little bit. There we go. And these look like they'd be really easy to cut out, okay? And plus, this is all I have, <laughs> but they'd make really cute embellishments. And putting them all close together because I might find other little embellishments I can stick in these frames so I will not be filling all of them I'm just showing you what you can fill them with okay. and that one's not cut too good but it's fine And the black frames that I showed you at the beginning, we're going to be using them for Halloween. I thought they'd be perfect for Halloween. Especially those stickers I got in my, if you haven't seen my Halloween, well, if you haven't seen my Joanne, what is it, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, and a little bit of Dollar Tree haul. I showed you those stickers, Halloween stickers I got. That's what I'll be using those for. The little white ones on the black backdrop. Put our angel right there in that frame. And it gives it a dimension. Beautiful beings. And then the doily one, I'm going to put mesh behind them just because I have more room. And these, these are really tight frames. And I have another two angels. And this one would be good in a Christmas book, I think. It would look really cute in a Christmas book. I'm going to move this one up. Filling them right up, beautiful beings. But again, I'm going to save some. I'm going to save some frames for other little pictures if I can find some. If I look through my picture books and find some, 
that go with these frames that look nice in them. I'll be using them. Let me put that one right there. This one is the last one for now to figure out later on down the road what I'm going to put in. Make sure it's straight. It is. Then I'll give you a close up of things. So now they're all set. So when I want to cut them out and use them, which shouldn't be a problem. All I have to do is fussy cut around them, around the frame and leave a little bit of wood maybe. And they're all ready for when I want to use them. And we'll have cute little embellishments. Okay, beautiful things. Let me give you a close up. Just little fairies and angels. And I think they fit in those picture frames perfectly. Okay. I think next we're going to move on to this one. But this one. Get this, out of the way. this one I'm going to fold because I'm putting it, I'm going to use these in my Halloween journals. Okay. So I have four and then one in my like astrology for stones and all that. So I'm going to cut this in four sections. That way I can have it to use four times. Beautiful things. I should unzoom you. <laughs> see, you see what I'm doing? And I did glue this cardstock on a paper bag, okay? Which won't affect it at all. Just because this cardstock was so thin, it was really, really thin. Okay? So I'm going to line this up down here. All the way across so it's nice and even. I'm going to cut it. There we go. <laughs> oh, it ripped it a little bit right there. But it's fine. Then, I'm going to cut it again. This way. See how good that lined up. Perfect. I'm just measuring the cardstock to the line on a six. Because that would be half. I'd be cut the cardstock right in half. I'm not going by the paper bag, I'm going by the cardstock. Okay. In case you get a cutter or don't have one. Good enough for me, and I have some frames I can use. On here and on here. Don't need many frames. Things. Only need to put a couple pictures in of each. Okay. So this is what we got. And I will be using the stickers. I will be using. I kind of wanted to use these, but I don't know now. I showed these in my haul too. I kind of wanted the witches, but I have flat ones over here. I got all my stuff on it. I got these stickers I showed you in my haul. And I don't know if I want to use these because I'm using one for astrology. These are the astrology ones. So I gotta figure out what I'm doing on the astrology one. And then of course I gotta put one of these witches on every one. 
So let's do the witches first. Okay, hey, beautiful things. I gotta figure out which way it goes this way. Tell by that. And this one goes that way. And that one goes that way. So I only have one big one. <laughs> I only have one big frame. And these are basically the same size. So I'm just deciding based on the big frame. I think that might fit in that one. And that round one would fit in there if I cut around it. I could even put that one that way. So let's do that. I'm just gonna stick this onto a paper bag. Then I'm gonna cut the circle out so it fits in that circle. But I decided I didn't want to keep the gray in there, so I cut the gray off too. Okay, beautiful beings. But it's fine. It's an old picture. That's what we're pretending anyway, beautiful things. <laughs> it's an old picture. So we're going to put that right in there. Like that. Got a little blue on it, but that's fine. And a lot. And this is sticking out because it's supposed to be like that. So if I want to cut that off, I can, but I'm not cutting these out. Okay. This is just going to be like a, I don't know, a flip page or something. I'm not sure what I'm doing it with it yet. I just know I want these glued down. And I'm not cutting these ones out. They're staying where they're at. Okay, these things. Right, now we have two more. I have a big frame in this one for the astrology one. Because I think in the astrology one I want to stick. Yeah. So I'm going to switch these ones out. And I think I'm just going to... They're fitting there good. That one. I decided I'm just going to glue them down onto a piece of scrap paper bag I have left over. That way I can cut them out and fit them to see which one looks better in which frame. Plus, I have lots of scrap left over paper bag from working in my Halloween journals. Beautiful things. All right, we got one there. I think I'm just going to set this one there. I'm just deciding. And where do I want to put this? I could put that one right there. Or I could even put it there if I wanted to. I don't know if I'm cutting this off. The cardboard off. All right, before I add them, I want to do the snake. Let's see. I don't even know which one would fit. Here, I'm just going to stick them in. Oops. And we'll strip the poor snake. Even a better reason why to put them on. Here. Which one has that one? Does. Now I look at it, I don't really see it. It's nice in there. <laughs> but I did want a snake. I already ripped it a little bit. I'm just gonna. This one is supposed to go that way. I think I'm just going to put it in there like that. If I can quit ripping it. Just be careful of that, beautiful beans. There. I'm just going to put the snake in that frame. And I don't know if I want another snake. I could have one slithering. Let's use the snake without ripping it. I can have one slithering in between the frames. I 
in this one. Oh, it goes that way. This looks like a nice spot for it. Right there. Okay. And I think I used all the snakes. I wanted one more. I don't think there's one in there. But I think I used all the snakes. Yeah, pretty much. I kind of wanted this in a frame for the astrology one. But let's go with the bigger ones for now. Let me keep these all organized so I don't get confused. But I had skeletons to figure out what I'm doing with. I have different sizes. I wanted one of the big ones in there. I think they're the same size. These look bigger, but I think they're the same size. I don't know. I'm just going to grab one from here and put it in there. There we go. And I want a skull on all of them. So I might use a tiny one for like right there. That's too tiny. <laughs> That's too tiny, beautiful beings. So let's put him back and get a little bigger one. I think this one will fit better. In there. There we go. What size do we got here? I got a big one. I want one in here. So I think I might just put a little skull up here. What is that? Those are birds. Bird skulls. Yeah, so I think I might just put a little skull here. Here. And we could add bones. Be very careful with these ones too. I could put bones right here. So there's nothing, no frame. I gotta keep remembering this. One of these are for my astrology ones. Bones here. 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 There we go. And I need one more bones. Narrow beings. Now I gotta figure out. Yeah, my witches. No, wait. I have to figure out this one. What I'm putting in that big one. And I was thinking. did want to hang one of these down. That's going to go that way. So I think I'm going to take one of these stickers from the astrology one and just I want it right on the tip here. And hang it down in between if I can get this under. There we go. Okay. Then, of course, we're going to need a hand. I think I'm just going to stick the hand right here. Like that. And then 
we could put a moth in a frame. Maybe this one. I can't see. <laughs> like the camera's right in front of my head. There we go. And then do I have a half moon I stick over here? I kind of want that in there, but it's kind of dark. What about that? Would that fit in there? No. Just deciding, beautiful beings. Oh, I wanted one that had a saying. Right here. I want that one in there. I like that. Maybe I want something behind it. Because I could fit material behind it. Okay, beautiful beings. I have a piece of mesh. So I'm just going to stick it on the mesh. Really good. Get my fabric scissors. I'm just going to cut a square. Show you why in a minute. And I'm just going to let that go to layer. Okay. So it curls in around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to glue that right there. Can't be things. Hold it up so I can see it. Over a little bit. And I'm just going to glue that right in there like that. Okay. And I'm moving it so I'm going to let it sit. Until it takes a minute. All right, what else do we want in here? I don't think that would look good in here. I could try to cut a circle, but it's still not gonna look good in here. I don't think. What will fit in there, beautiful things? I think the moon will. Let's see. Yep. The moon will. So we'll put the moon in there. Okay. Still fit something over there, but I don't think I have anything. I have little stars. Just looking. I'm just looking at little things. Just going through the process of deciding, beautiful beings. <laughs> I didn't want you to have to go through a long video. I just put some stars or something in there. Put these little ones. I put two different ones. That one. There. And put. Better one, maybe. A little potion bottle. Why not? Put a little potion bottle on that one. So it's looking so far. I'll make sure that's straight. <laughs> okay, and then we got little crystals that we can stick here and there. I think we need one over there. And I still need something in this frame. Let's do a leaf. Let's put a leaf in there. And a piece of nature in there. Mushrooms. Then, it's got a tiny flower there. I don't know. Maybe this one. Let's put it sideways here. 
And I think I need something here, and I'm done. I need something there. <laughs> We're using everything. I don't want to use all my crystals up, though. Where's those other stars? Let's put this here. And then this little star up here. Did I fold that over? Yes, I did. Right. Here's this one. This one's done. Now I don't have to worry about those ones. I can move on to these ones. All right, these two need a witch. I think I'm just gonna stick that one there. Or I could stick that one there. So we're gonna stick this one right there. Right there. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna cut it off or not. But I could just stick it there leave it but I really don't like that there maybe if I put that one there that one there yeah let's do that let's do that beautiful beings then we'll have witches on all of them so I'm gonna stick this one right here in this frame right to the bottom of the cardstock I will keep that there. I'm probably put black lace or purple lace or something on it. Kind of like that there. What are the pictures we have left? Do I have anything in circles? Pumpkins? I think I'm putting the witches down here. Because I have pumpkins. I'm going to stick there, I think. Circle ones. I wish I had pictures of werewolves and Dracula and stuff like that. What do I do? I have a reaper. Reaper could go in that one. I'll put the reaper in that one. I don't know if I should glue this on. Yeah. I'll just dead some of this glue. So I want to make sure it's going to stay down good. Reaper in there. And he's crooked. I think I like him glued down to the paper bag better, to tell you the truth. So they stand out a little bit. The only other reaper I have is that one and that one. Reaper. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's get some pumpkins in here. And some spiders, beautiful beings. This one's smallest, I think. Be very careful not to rip your spiders. <laughs> no? And I'm putting him right there. Okay. Then I think I'm going to put, I really don't, I don't know if that'll fit in there good. I'm going to put him in there, I think. Yeah. That pumpkin's going in there. Make sure that's going down good. Just ideas, beautiful beings. 
This needs a spider. So I'm going to put this spider right there. This one needs a pumpkin. So is this one. And I think I'm just gonna, which one's different? Get the black one. Put the black one right there. It's not even in the middle. It's in the middle. I think I might just put him here. There. And we need a spider. I think I'm going to put this spider over to here. And then I might be done with these. Because I have other stickers, but they're in my Halloween bin stored. So, I might just stop and add them later. Let's put a bird's head on there, I guess. Boy, oh, these stickers, they rip really easy, beautiful things. I'm going to put this bird skull up there. But yeah, I think I'm done with those for now. Now, just in case I find some other pictures somewhere, stickers I could put in our picture frames. Okay. Okay, beautiful things. Here's our cardstock the marble or stones okay they can be either or but I'm gonna be I cut out the ones that I'm gonna be using okay so we'll get rid of the ones that I won't be using I want this one too so I'm just gonna cut this one out and you can use any embellishments that you created or embellishments that you have. Okay. I'm going to start out with this one. I want this one right here. I made two flowers. And of course I have when I have uh, goddesses. So if you have those books that have goddesses in them, <laughs> you can use them. Okay. I don't think they're goddesses, but they look like goddesses. So I figured I'd use them on it on these papers because I think it's fitting. Okay. And I just glued it down. I glued down some fabric that I thought matched the colors in the picture. Okay. And then I just put scraps, pieces, and then I put a scrap piece of trim there. So if you have little bits of scrap from lace trim and or fabric right that you save there. these pictures are a great way to use it up beautiful babies. that way i have room or they have room to write over there i'm gonna make sure this is even it's not so i want that nice and straight so hopefully this gives you ideas to use up your cardstock in different ways besides ways that they're normally used for. But I'm making a big embellishment for this. I mean, I probably could glue, it's just white on the other side, so I probably could glue this to something else and make a pocket with it. 
and that's probably what I'll do. But basically all the other ones are gonna be embellishments. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, beautiful things. Just got two flowers and I got some fray from material from fabric and then I have flower from Dollar Tree and I put some fray from fabric in that also so this one is basically done okay now I'm going to do this one this one I just took one of those little cards pictures and I glued it on some mesh and I put the mesh one way and I put the mesh the other way then you can take a lighter and really carefully go in and shape it whatever way you want took a piece of scrap flower I had put an emerald in it a gem and then I took Dollar Tree trim and put that down and I'm just gonna glue that right there all I did is glue it on some mesh, two pieces. Okay, and I'm gonna put this maybe out there. And then again, there's room for writing, or you can stick a phrase, a word, whatever you want. And that one's done. I just wanted to show you you can make as long as you have pictures of some sort you can make your own embellishment beautiful things okay this just happens to be a bigger embellishment or it can be a pocket again because there's nothing on the back of it okay and I did go around it with whatever color that matched, kind of matched. I went around this with Mermaid, Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide. So I'm gonna point that out that I did go around all the edges with Distress Ink, whatever matched the card. Okay. Let's do this one. This one, I don't know if I want it this way. Okay, this one. But I have a tea bag. I went around it with squeeze lemonade and it says there is pleasure in the pathless woods Lord Byron okay and I just want that right there kind of like that but again I don't know if I want it this way or this way I think I want it that way no I like the other one. So I'm going to glue this down. And I just took mesh and glued it on some mesh I had. And that's it. That's basically all I did. And I took, if you have scissors that make shapes, okay, these are like scallop scissors. I went around it and just made the shape. Okay, these are from Better Office Products. But use whatever you have and then I glued it down to some mesh and I think I'm just gonna put that in a little right there then I'm going to take my tea bag saying and put it down there And I'm just going to tuck that in there and move it up a little bit. Right there. And glue it down. And there we go, beautiful things. Here I'm just deciding 
which picture I want to put on which stone color. Again, I just took the goddess picture and I put it on some mesh and then I glued two scrap pieces of flowers down to bring out the yellow in her dress. Okay. Pick a side and put it down. Put her down right there. Again, that way, that way if I want to do something later over here or something, I can. Okay. That's what that one looks like. Okay, and then I have this one. I think I want it this way. Maybe I should do one this way. Yeah, we'll do this one this way. All you do is take whatever color you want. I got pink. I'm using Victorian velvet distressing. Then you just ink up the sides, beautiful beans. This one, I took mesh again, and I glued it down. Then I had a piece of this left over, and I just put it down here. And I'm putting her on pink, because it brings out her dress, her pink dress. Okay? I'm going to glue her right there. Now it's picking up. See that pink in there? That's all we needed, beautiful beings, was a backdrop. Goddess. And mesh. Just glued it on again. And this one's going to be a little different because there's pinks. You'll see this twice, but I want you to pay attention to the square edges. This one, I just glued it on mesh again. Okay, and then I went around with a lighter like that. See how you can manipulate it? Okay, to get rid of the corners. And I think I'm gonna put her on the right. Then I'm just gonna take my scrap trim and make it look like we're holding it down. And see the colors more. Okay. Of course, this one's got to glue down. I might as well show them all to you on the black because you can see them better. Okay, beautiful beings, so you got embellishments, or even you can use them as a tuck, whatever you want to, for your journals. Now we're going to move on to our doily cardstock. Okay, beautiful beings, here's our fourth cardstock and final cardstock. I cut this out in different ways to show you. And again, I use these scissors on this one. You can leave some. Or you can leave more and just do a circle around it. Just groove in and out with your scissors. Or you can just do little indents. And I left one to show you. Okay, just go in real tiny and go like that. 
It depends on whatever cardstock you're using. But this is what I did to make the doily look more realistic. So I'm basically just putting little slits in there, really tiny slits. <laughs> and then you can use your ed edge pieces like here. See how it's on the edge? And even the smaller ones like here. This is from the top, but this is a little bigger than the bottom one, but like right. Oh, I got one sitting there like right here. Cut them out and you can use these too, okay? But I just wanted to show you the different ways that you can cut these out and use them so if you have similar doilies or have something else similar that you can think of you can use okay so I'm going to remove this paper then I'm going to figure out where I had what I just took this dress ink and used it for the color little picture card I was going to use. Okay. This one I put fabric on. Okay. I just frayed it, glued it down, put it around the frame, and then I added two flowers that were in my little scrap bin. Okay. And I'm just going to glue that one right there to cover this up. If you want, you can cut it down even more so you don't see it as much. And I'm going to leave them there just for different looks. Okay, beautiful beings, you know how I am. I get too intense in the little details. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But if you want a video on how to make, you know, I mean, it's self-explanatory, but if you really want me to do a video on the little cards and how to add little scraps and all that, I can do a total video on them because I have a whole bunch of other little tiny pictures that I need to decorate. Okay, but I'm gonna fast forward this because it's pretty much self-explanatory, beautiful beings, just to save time. And so we could stay under an hour and then I'll give you a close-up of our little doily embellishments. Okay, beautiful beings.
Now a close-up of our beautiful doily embellishments, beautiful beings. This fabric in a flower on a picture card. And it's just fabric. And I use those special scissors to go around the card and rows. Fabric. And I did add a flower there. <laughs> okay. I think these make really cute embellishments and you can pretty much use them on anything. That one. Angel singing. That one. And we got different styles out of them. And a boy in a tree with the butterflies. Or should I say a fairy in a tree with butterflies? Okay, beautiful beings so we did our frames with angels and fairies and we did these frames with Halloween and astrology and we did our stone looking cardstock and we did our dollies I hope you got inspired and you got lots of good ideas beautiful beings thanks for watching have a wonderful everything